start doing some recording with this one. Looks like my little uh, run cam here, the batteries are kind of dead on it. I'm not going to be able to do any recording. I got a little bit. But I'm going to take and record the uh, takeoff of this. I do have uh, pretty much everything all set up. I've got the uh, Z3 set up with the launch dolly. Got that going, so as soon as it lifts off, it should be able to just pluck right out of the bottom like it's supposed to. Hopefully, there's plenty of juice and everything else to kind of get this thing going. But I wanted to go ahead and give it a first official test of uh, flying off the launch dolly today. So, as you can see, how the Z3 is set up, I don't need any launch pegs put on the bottom, I just put little notches there, and it should be able to at least kind of keep it from moving around. It seems like it ran the Ran the taxi test just fine. I was able to circle around without a problem. See my navigation lights right there. Everything seems to be working just fine on it. Just need to make sure it's going to be able to take off. And the way things are going, looks like I've got the wind coming from the back end. So, looks like it's kind of shifting around a bit. If it hits anything, I'm really in trouble. <laughs> Alright, camera's still rolling. that I'm actually in the cockpit here and hopefully I don't have any uh, nobody come rolling down the parking lot here Z3 is up and away, so... Alright, I just had to go on test to make sure at least the land gear was going to work. Launch dolly. Hmm. That worked out pretty smooth. Alright, that pretty much concludes that test right there. I just want to go and do it again. Looks like somebody else is pulling into the parking lot, so... Man. <laughs> Better go and find my launch dolly now. Alright. Oh, there it is. Not bad. Dollar is really proving its worth. So if anybody really wants a copy of the design, they're more than welcome to. But so far, the good wide stance landing gear works a lot better than the other one. Wheels are a lot more solid. Fairly, uh, fairly resilient on the ground. It allows me to at least do some uh, trim adjustments with the rudder, just make sure everything's working good. 
I might just try that again. Just make sure everything's good. Right. Okay, let's plug this back in. There we go. Oh, I see. So this thing is actually starting to uh, loosen up a little bit. I can torque that down. Okay. Feels like the detent's kind of wearing out. Get a really flathead for it. Tighten down, it's only good for just the flight. So I'm gonna have to take and put a different screw in there or something. I didn't check the surfaces before I took off from the first one. Alright. Second try. I'm going to have the GoPro going this time. On board. For it. it feels like my uh, nose wheel kind of went off a little bit again.
Man, not bad. Okay, I've got the footage on the other uh, GoPro. Damn, it's soaking wet out here. Yeah, everything seemed to work just fine. Let's see if I can get the camera cleaned off. There we go. So now I've got the footage with the with the Hero Seven. Yeah, this thing. Uh, as long as I can go ahead and nail down the, the land gear to make sure it's not going to move anywhere. And uh, it should be just fine for taking off with the trailer. So, But yeah, so far, two good successful launches with it. I think we're definitely good. All right. All right, that's pretty much it.